Robert Brand Video on his channel. In today's video, we're talking about some T-Mobile stuff, even AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and my Beats X earbuds review because a lot of people are interested in that also. I see you guys commenting about that, including people that purchased the earbuds, and they really are amazing, so I want to talk about those again. And as far as what's going on with AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, and T-Mobile, a lot of people are asking questions about AT&T and even Sprint. Now, the situation with Sprint, as I've said before, they're not really that impressive because a lot of their customers went to T-Mobile, and they're not really working on their network that much. Now, compared to T-Mobile and Verizon, they seem to be owning the conversation. A lot of people are talking about those two companies, especially the fact that they're working on 5G. And the way they sell their plans, I find T-Mobile to be the most interesting because they're just putting the price as it is. Although I have an issue with the fact that people that are using an older plan would have to call T-Mobile to even upgrade. So if they don't see a commercial and they're not reading about T-Mobile, they might not know about that. But as far as T-Mobile and Verizon, I do find the T-Mobile pricing to be much better than Verizon as far as they publish it on their website. And also the fact if you get numerous lines from T-Mobile, you could save some money, even with one line, you can save money with T-Mobile. Now as far as Sprint and AT&T, AT&T has DirecTV now, and that is interesting, but look at the pricing from AT&T. And if you compare that to T-Mobile, are you really saving that much money? If you have all of these services, stop trying to charge people more money than you have to. And that's just my personal opinion, by the way. Um, if you want to talk facts about T-Mobile and you want to compare them to the other companies, T-Mobile doesn't have that home internet service and they don't have TV service. Again, I would say because some of these companies are out there and they're being greedy. And if you look at T-Mobile, T-Mobile is doing a lot better than those other companies, again, with the pricing. Verizon and AT&T, the reason why you get, I guess, laughed at by T-Mobile and why they're even pointing the finger at you guys is because the way you guys charge for your plans and your services. And that's real talk. Now, as far as what I think about Sprint, Sprint is Sprint. A lot of people are saying they want to merge with another company because look at what they're doing or not doing. So if that company has all the customers, a lot of customers going to T-Mobile, obviously there's going to be an issue for them to upgrade their own network. And you have to. You always have to enhance your own technology because when these other companies are competing out there and you got Verizon and T-Mobile talking about 5G and then you got Sprint out there and Sprint does not have an impressive network, then we have to really realize that Sprint can't really compete with these other companies out there because Sprint could really do a lot more for themselves by just working on your own network. But again, if you don't have the customers, then it's not so easy for them. And again, this is a situation for T-Mobile customers. When they look at other companies such as AT&T and Verizon, they're like, you know what? Why would I go to Verizon or AT&T when I'm gonna get the same kind of service that I would get with T-Mobile and not spend as much money? And that's where T-Mobile has an advantage. Now, as far as the Beats X earbuds, everyone's talking about these earbuds because they're comparing them to the AirPods. AirPods are interesting, but the one flaw I really think those AirPods have are the design. When people are talking about the fact that they can fall out of your ear and they don't have a wire, if you're interested in a pair of fantastic earbuds, an alternative to the AirPods, I'm saying the Beats X earbuds are earbuds that you might want to purchase. Now, as far as what I think about the sound, which is most important, they sound amazing. Now, compared to a pair of headphones like the Audio Technicas that I own, you can't compare the two because a wired pair of headphones, obviously, like the Audio Technicas, are gonna have a much better sound. We're talking about Bluetooth earbuds where you can travel with them and listen to music without Without having the wire and the headphones. Now to travel with the Audio Technicas, they're not the easiest pair of headphones to travel with because they're really big headphones and they're not really meant for you to travel. You can listen to music, you can monitor audio. They're really for people that want to use headphones, listen to music, but also use them to monitor audio, edit audio. I really think these Beats X earbuds are awesome. They really are. If you didn't see my review about them, link in the description. You can watch that review of those earbuds and in another video where I reviewed them, I didn't include the accessories with them, but this is the case for it and also this wire which is the USB to lightning cable. And this is really cool too, because you don't want a lot of wires and you don't want to have something that is really just an inconvenience. For something that's just not that noticeable when you're wearing them, I think the Beats X earbuds are fantastic. And one thing they didn't include was the left and right on each earbud. So if you want to know which earbud goes in which ear, this has a volume rocker on the left-hand side. So a volume rocker always on the left-hand side if you purchase these. And a lot of people are comparing these earbuds to other ones out there, even like Jaybirds or Bose. I have to say the Beats X earbuds are the most impressive to me because you have this tapered wire that's really comfortable to wear. They're not noticeable and the sound is pretty impressive. It's not going to be compared to a pair of headphones like the Audio Technicas again, but we're talking about a pair of earbuds where you just want to travel, or you just want to listen to music through earbuds that have Bluetooth capability. And I think that these earbuds really accomplish all of that and more because you're talking about a pair of earbuds that are expensive to a lot of people because not everyone's out there spending $150 on earbuds. But I have to say, if you're interested in a great pair of earbuds, they're worth it. Now, as far as the Warriors, and I do want to talk about them because people are out there 
just saying a lot of different things about him, especially people that root for the Cavaliers. We get it. You root for the Cavs. You're a LeBron James fan. You start talking about the fact that the Warriors didn't win last year because, what, they had 3-1 lead in the finals. But then you see LeBron James, who's 3-7 for seven in the finals, and you don't say anything about that. So if you're going to make jokes about the Warriors and you root for LeBron, which a lot of you do, you have to talk about what's going on with the Cavs also. Now the Cavs just signed Bogut. So I think the Warriors are a very good team, even though they didn't win two games. Those are two games. Let's see what happens when this team realizes, especially like Steph Curry, that he has to lead that team. He doesn't have Durant there now. So those additional points, and we're talking about the perimeter shooting from the Warriors, like even a Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, and even sometimes Draymond Green also, because Draymond Green can get points. And then we also have guys like Iguodala. Everyone has to contribute. That's what it's all about. It's not just one person on the team. And if Kevin Durant has this injury, which people think he's going to be back for the playoffs, I think right now it's about all those guys just leading the team. And as far as the leader right now for that team, it has to be Steph Curry. And I always said it was Steph Curry because he's the one who led the team for the championship. And the Warriors are a lot of fun to watch. You got Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Iguodala, Draymond Green. Now you have Kevin Durant who's injured, but when he's in the game, he's really in the game because he puts up points. He's a lot of fun to watch also. These guys are balling. And I like the Warriors for that reason. But I'd like to know what you guys think about all this. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you think about that situation with at t Sprint compared to a T-Mobile and Verizon. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.